What are birds? Birds are incredible creatures. From huge ostriches in the desert to tiny hummingbirds in the rainforest, from flightless penguins in Antarctica to high-flying vultures in Africa, birds have adapted to occupy almost every environment on the planet and have become wonderfully weird along the way. But where did birds come from? And more importantly, with so many big differences between species, what exactly are birds? Well, birds actually evolved directly from dinosaurs. When most dinosaurs were wiped out by a meteor strike, only very small animals survived. Alongside the early mammals and other reptiles, the only surviving dinosaurs were the avian dinosaurs who evolved to become the birds we know today. What is a bird? Birds are defined as warm-blooded vertebrates with feathers, beaks, and a strong, lightweight skeleton. They also lay hard-shelled eggs. Each of these features have helped birds thrive in the world we live in. Feathers provide warmth, help most birds to fly, and provide a canvas for dazzling colors and patterns used in a variety of mating displays. Beaks can tell you a lot about a bird, especially about what they eat and how they get their food. What do birds eat? Most birds are either carnivorous or omnivorous, meaning they only eat other animals or they eat both animals and plants. Carnivorous birds include birds of prey, such as eagles and vultures. They have sharp curved beaks, along with matching sharp curved talons on their feet for the gory business of killing prey and tearing through flesh. Some carnivorous birds feed mainly on fish, such as penguins and herons. These have slightly different adaptations, often with sharp, thin beaks acting like a spear. Most birds, including many common garden birds, are omnivores, eating things like insects, berries and seeds. Just like with carnivorous birds, the shape of their beaks can tell us about each of their diets. For example, sparrows and finches have short, cone-shaped beaks to crack open seeds and nuts, while robins have thinner beaks to poke into the ground for worms and insects. But bird beaks can be even more specialised, with some extraordinary behaviours to go with them. Hummingbirds have long, thin beaks, with an enormous tongue to reach the nectar of flowers. Pelicans have beaks with huge throat pouches to scoop fish from the water, and woodpeckers have strong, sharp beaks to drill holes into trees to find grubs. And after all that eating, all that food has to go somewhere. How do birds poo? And do birds wee? Bird poo is very recognisable with its brown and white colouring. But why does it look like that? This white stuff is actually the bird equivalent of wee. In mammals, we create urine, a mix of water and urea, which is the waste we want to get rid of from our bodies. Instead of making urea, birds make uric acid, which is a sticky white paste. This stops them from losing as much water from their bodies. This is expelled with the poo from the cloaca. The cloaca is the single opening that a bird has for the excretion of both poo and wee. It's also the opening both sexes use for reproduction. That being said, how do birds mate? For the majority of birds, their genitals are tucked neatly into their bodies. Birds will mate by simply lining up their cloaca in what is known as a cloacal kiss and having sperm pass from the internal male testes to the internal female ovaries. But wait, in biology, there are always a few exceptions. Here, these include geese, swans, and ducks. The actual success rate of fertilization through the cloacal kiss is pretty rubbish. Add a load of water into the mix, and there is no way that sperm is getting anywhere near the eggs. So, ducks evolve vaginas and penises to mate in a way more similar to mammals. Whichever method is used, the result is often a clutch of eggs. But why do birds lay eggs at all? Since birds evolved directly from dinosaurs, which were egg-laying reptiles, birds also lay eggs. These come in a wonderful variety of shapes, sizes and colours, depending on the bird and the environment in which it lives. Egg-laying is a preferable method for birds to stick to, in particular because of flight. As any pregnant mother-to-be can tell you, a growing baby is very heavy to carry around. 
For birds, carrying around the weight of a growing baby could be a real problem for flying. So instead, the egg is expelled from the body in a hard protective shell for the baby to grow outside of the mother's body. Which brings us to the most notable feature of birds. How do birds fly? With the exception of a few bird species, like penguins, ostriches, and cassowaries, who gave up flight to better adapt to their environments, birds are known for ruling the skies. They have a few features that allow them to master flying. Firstly, they have strong, lightweight skeletons. They have far fewer bones than mammals or reptiles, and these bones are partially hollow to reduce their weight. They have a streamlined body shape to reduce air resistance with a keel-shaped sternum, like a boat. This acts as an anchor for strong pectoral muscles that birds use to move their wings. Flight feathers on the wing and tail allow the bird to steer, brake, move forwards and lift, while other downy feathers help to keep the bird warm in the cold temperatures high in the sky. Birds also have a very efficient respiratory system. Unlike mammals, birds have looped airways with air sacs. This allows for a one-way flow of air across their lung tissue, which means they are able to constantly absorb oxygen, helping birds create the huge amount of energy needed to fly. So while all birds have the same core features, they have spent millions of years evolving into the huge variety of species that cover our planet today, and we still have so much more to learn about them. If you're keen to find out more about birds, check out our other videos on the Natural History Museum YouTube channel. Let us know what your favourite bird is in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest content.